Jeremy Ellis here, maker of Roxetta.com, Twitter at Roxetta. When you first download Blender, you uh, get a screen like this. Notice this user perspective. The number pad 5 changes it to user ortho. Number pad 7 is view from top. 1 is the front. 3 is the side. Uh, this is, for 3D printing, much easier to work with. With units, if you zip over to here, um, depending on your, your printer, I know my COSL printer, I need to go to metric and point, put 001 to switch the units into, if I hit N, I'll um, got millimeters. But what's kind of strange is for my Tinkerine printer, it's way easier just to work with no unit because it prints in millimeters so here I have my my units in millimeters uh, ooh, that's not it there are my units in millimeters <coughs> my suggestion just print a cube see what it li is like here maybe use the grease pencil um, the ruler and measure it print it see what you get um, with a grease pencil or ruler just hit delete and then you can measure it from another angle, hit delete. Don't forget to escape out of there. So what I want to show you is getting rid of non-manifold, making a, a object manifold for um, 3D printing. But the first thing you're going to need to do is go into user preferences, add-ons, and look at mesh and that's interesting why is it not there I want to find oh there's something there go back to mesh 3d print toolbox that's what we need to save and go back to 3d view there's the 3d print toolbox very handy for checking if something is has any non manifold edges that's what you want is zeros there if we're in if we tab into edit mode and you click that, then it will select the issue faces, but the big deal is non-manifold. You need to get rid of all the non-manifold. Most of the slicers these days are pretty good with intersecting faces and all these other issues. They may just delete thin faces or things like that, but that non-manifold, that is a necessity. So, let's go for um, some of these. So here we go. We have, uh, let's find my first one. Where is my first one? Okay, let's load up my first one. This is called isolated. Uh, we've got an edge there. We've got a face there. We've got an attached edge. If I click check all, Notice we've got five non-manifold edges. So if I click non-manifold, this should fix them, but it kills it. So what we're going to have to do is individually fix these things. I'm going to tab into edit mode, and faces, I can just X and delete that face. Uh, go into edge mode, right click there, X, uh, delete that edge. This one, X, delete that edge. I'm going to hit Z just to see if there's anything on the inside. So click check all. There we go, non-manifold. So next one. Um, I seem to have lost my second one. So let's open up number two. What we have here, if I go into Z, or if I check all, we have intersecting faces. Well, this is interesting in that, let's just try non-manifold again. Um, Check all, well, you're still getting an intersecting face. Now, this will print. Um, most slicers have no problem with intersecting faces. If you wanted to fix it up, you could separate it and tidy those up. But I'm just going to quickly go through manifold issues. So here's another one. Looks like, oh, we got some non-manifold. I'll go into edit mode, try to figure out what's non-manifold. These are two intersecting faces. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, in edit mode, in face, I'm going to separate this face and get out of edit mode. 
and now I have two objects here. I'm just going to make sure that each object is, well, that's got a non-manifold issue, so I'm just going to correct it, check it again, then check this one, it has a non-manifold issue, check it again, now they're good, and I'm just going to select them both, Control J, which should join them. If I go into edit mode now, check them all. I still have intersecting faces, but at least it's manifold now. It means it's kind of watertight. So let's go to my next one. Um, this I just call the T-bone. Uh, problem is, if we go into our mesh here in edit mode, um, where is it? and I click on this, and these, what, what I'm looking at now are the normals. And we need things like this where the normals point out on both sides. But on this face, my normal only points one way. So that cannot be printed on a 3D printer. So what I would suggest in this situation, I normally take these normals off because they're irritating. Um, once again, I would just separate it, um, go back. So now I have two objects. Check that they're both manifold. Check that this is manifold. We got an issue there, so let Blender fix it. And then join them again. It's pretty simple, this technique. There are all kinds of fancy other ways of doing it, but this seems to work. So here what we have is, um, if we go into 3D printing and check it, we have non-manifold. I'm going to go into edit mode and find this. It's saying that whole thing is non-manifold. All I'm going to do is I'm going to select my vertex. That whole thing is selected. I'm going to P separate it. Um, go from above. And in this case, I'm going to move this. Now, I always use G for grab X to move it that way, and then G, Y to move it this way. If you just randomly grab things, um, they tend to move up and down. They tend to move all over the place. So when you rotate around, it's all messed up. But this should be fine. So I'm just going to shift select that, control J to join them. And I don't remember checking to see if it was non-manifold before joining them, but we're, things are fixed now, so that looks fine. And here's the bow tie. It looks like a badly done bow tie. Um, once again, now, if I go into Z mode, wireframe mode, click there, we have this one edge. Well, like all these other ones, I would just circle select, get all that selected, escape to get out of circle select, um, go 7 so we can view from the top, uh, P to separate, out of edit mode, select it, um, J, G, X, move it a little bit, G, Y, move it a little bit, just so it's overlapping there, and now you can select them and control J. Uh, once again, uh, I should have really checked if there were some non-manifold, but it looks good. Once again, we've got intersecting faces, but most slicers are okay dealing with that. Hit Z. And it looks pretty much the same as before. Um, so, good luck. Those are some of my techniques for uh, getting rid of non-manifold edges. Hope you enjoyed it.